everybody, well, it's the weekly check-in time. So I got great news for you. This week, uh, I lost four pounds. Yeah, four, that's a lot. Seems like a lot, but yeah, to be honest, it's probably still a lot of water weight coming off, but I'll take it. So, so far on my Mike Oski's 50 by 50, I'm down nine pounds since we started this thing. And uh, that seems like a lot in a short period of time, but again, I have the water weight to give. It's probably beer weight too, most of it, to be honest with you. But we're gonna keep going on this. We're gonna keep this, this flow going. So we're down a total of nine pounds. I got 41 to go. Um, we're gonna keep this train going. I'm telling you what, today we're gonna make a wonderful, wonderful soup. It's a cabbage soup. It's called kaputznik. That's Polish for, for cabbage soup, kaputznik. So you can call it cabbage soup, but what we're gonna do, we're gonna put some cabbage together. We're gonna have some country spare ribs. We're gonna crank the proteins up in this thing and we're gonna keep the carbs low. A lot of cabbage, a lot of fiber. If you know what fiber does to you, it's good for the belly. Uh, anyway, so, hey, I'm really excited. Thanks for joining me. Let's get working on this kaputznik or this cabbage soup. Show you how simple it is to make. You can eat it for a few days because it makes a lot. So serving by serving, you're gonna get a lot of protein, a lot of fiber, and a lot of vegetables too. See you right back over here at the workstation and let's make some cabbage soup. <laughs> Everybody, welcome to Mike Oski's Kitchen. My name is Michael Olszewski. I'm the chef of this kitchen, doing 50 by 50, 50 pounds, and by 50 years old. That's July, so I got a way to go. As you said in my intro video, I'm down nine, got a lot more to go, so I'm gonna keep my momentum and keep my, my, my positive thinking going. Um, but hey, let's keep this going. I'm making a soup today. It's cold outside, it's really chilly outside. Nothing better than having a nice warm soup, not only to warm your heart, warm your belly, but also to stay healthy too. Look, this is simple. This is a high protein, low carb dinner soup. Uh, it has a lot of fibers. Oh, it's fantastic. It really is. There's, some, there's gonna be a lot of veggies in it. So wait, wait till you see what we're gonna do. Again, this is called cabbage soup, or in the Polish way of saying it, it's kaputznik, okay? Simple. Now, let me just tell you one thing. You don't have to use everything I'm gonna use here. And one, one thing particular, and I'll tell you here in a minute. But let's go through the ingredients real quick. What you're going to use in the soup, what you're going to use is going to be our spices. This is our spices center. We got salt and pepper. We have some thyme. We have some paprika. Uh, we have, uh, of course, some uh, bay leaves. Got to put bay leaves in soup, right? Of course. And then we have some garlic, okay? Now, here's what goes into the soup. This is the souping section, okay? Celery. A uh, medium head of cabbage, not the big hunky, ch chunky ones. Medium head. We're going to go ahead and shred this down. An onion, a red pepper. Uh -huh. You got to make, uh, when you're making a Polish dish, you got to put some type of good tip flavors in there. And here you go. Here's some sauerkraut. Just one can of stewed or just diced tomatoes. And we're going to use right here some chicken broth. Low sodium. Try to find a low sodium if you can. Uh, this is really good. So we're going to use the whole thing. That's 32 ounces. Now, when I said about what you don't have to put in, I want protein because mom doing a higher protein, low carb diet. That's the kind of stuff I'm doing. That's the kind of eating pattern I'm in right now. And I hope to stay in it for the rest of my life because I love it. I feel so good. Um, country, country ribs, okay? About that big. You can buy them in any store, any place. About a pound to a pound and a half. I'm sorry, a pound and a half to two pounds. We're going to cut these up in a nice little bite size area pieces so we can mix it into the soup and you can you don't have a big piece of rib going into your mouth but what you want to do is i'll show you exactly what size we want to be but just nice little bite-sized pieces and we'll put that into the soup and that's it folks simple easy to do super soup i call it super soup because it has so many different different uh, values to it when it comes to nutrition you got protein you have vegetables you have vitamin k and vitamin c and vitamin e and look at all these these wonderful 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 spices look it's a no guilt but it's really good and you'll love it. So let's get working on this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and shred up my cabbage. I'm gonna dice my onion. I'm gonna dice my pepper. I'm gonna dice some uh, celery. When I come back, I'll show you what that looks like and then we'll head over to the hot spot and just make it up. That's how simple this is. I'll see you right back here. Bye-bye. Hey, buddy, we are back. Listen, this is what I did. I just did some work. Not a whole lot of work to do. I just chopped up my vegetables. I chopped up my meat. And of course, we chopped up my cabbage. So here's about what you wanna look at for your for your country ribs about that big little bite-sized ones you want them in the soup so you can add the soup with the you don't want a big hunk of meat there um yeah about that size see i mean nothing 
too big, just, just dice them up really nicely. Same thing with the cabbage, nice and coarsely chopped. Um, and they can see my celery, my onion, and my red pepper. Nice and cubed, cut, uniform cubed cuts, easy to do. So that's it, that's all the cutting. Now it's the fun part, we just put it all together and mix it. So get ready for your mixing arm. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get, get our meat prepared and then we'll add the other ingredients as we go along. It's gonna be simple from here. I'll see you over here at the hot spot. This is where it gets fun. All right, folks, we're back. Hey, we're getting our country ribs ready to brown. We're browning them right now. So you just wanna get them nice and brown, cook through. Uh, but what I like to do, again, remember, I love the spice and, 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 and I love to liven up the meat. So I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, just regular table salt to the ribs. And of course, um, a little bit of pepper. Uh, kind of a lot of pepper. And you know what? For some reason, oregano, just a, just a touch of oregano is great on that meat. And then finally, a little bit of basil. Now, this is in, isn't in the recipe. This is what I like to do. You can choose to do this or not. If not, just stick with some salt and pepper and make it that way. So I'm just going to go ahead and mix these around. Again, this is a, the country-style spare ribs, pork ribs. And I have some olive oil in there with them, about a tablespoon or two. I'm gonna go ahead and let these things brown up a little bit. And then when I come back, I'll show you what the next step is. So I'm gonna let these brown. I'll see you right back here in a second. All right, great. So our meat is just about brown. It's still got some way to go yet, and that's okay. At this point, we still want it to keep browning. But at this point right now, what we wanna do is we wanna add our onion to cook with it. Okay. Get the rest of it in there. Whatever we miss, we can put in on the next, next trip. And, and then um, we want to add our, our, all of our spices, okay? So we want to add our, our salt, our thyme, and our paprika. So once all that is in mixed in there, that's good. Let's get a good mix. We got one more thing to add, and then we can let it continue to cook. Again, taking care of the meat, folks. Taking care of the meat. It's creating its own juice. It's wonderful. Now, last thing before we go. We're going to drop in our um, garlic and we'll mix that together. And we're going to let it continue to simmer and let that meat brown. And then we'll bring the star of the show, our cabbage and our, and our um, um, sauerkraut into this. So I'll see you back here just in a little bit. All right, folks, this is the final step. It's a big step, but it's the final step and it's the easy one too. We're going to add the rest of our veggies in here, okay? This is going to be our, um, our um, uh, red pepper and, of course, our... Um, Celery. Perfect. Now, let's make get a mix on this. Gonna mix it all together. And here comes the star of the show. Our cabbage. My hands are clean, so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of lay this in there. Oops, some fell aside here. We'll throw that away. Let's get push this down, get a mix in that as well. We'll get a good mix on this as this continues to go. This cabbage will soften up because this puppy's gonna cook for about two or three hours. Next thing we wanna add is our tomatoes. I did not strain the can, I'm using the whole can. They're just regular old diced tomatoes, okay? You can use that. And then finally, we're gonna add our sauerkraut. One final step in this process is going to be next, and it is our chicken broth. I'm using 32 ounces of chicken broth, and that's going to help us be able to mix things better. Once I get this all in there, I'm going to go ahead and mix it up, and I'll show you what it looks like when we come back. And we got one little bitty step, and it has to do with bay leaves when we come back. Finally, we're here, last step of the process, and then we'll put this thing to sleep for a little bit. As you can see, I made a big mixture of all this stuff. I wanna make sure I integrate everything together, get all the clumpies out, make sure everything is good to go. You can see the juice of the soup already starting to form. Now, this thing will make its own broth um, when we cover it because the steam and everything will go back into it and create its own broth. But what we're gonna do is gonna add a cup of water, just a cup, and then last step, just mix that real quick. Looking good. And then last step right here, we're gonna add some bay leaves. Gotta add bay leaves to soup. I don't know why you can't do it, you just gotta do it. 
gonna go one, two, and three. And that's it. And then I'll let those sit on top. Just push them down into the mixture a little bit here. And then I will go ahead and put this lid on and say night night for about two to three hours. You wanna let this thing simmer for two to three hours? Mix it every, I don't know, 15, 20, 30 minutes. Just get a good mix on it. Nothing major, but just let it sit. Two to three hours, I'll see you when it's ready. I can't wait to taste it. My mouth was watering. I'll be back when we come back to test. All right, everybody, we're back here. We're exactly where we want to be, tasting this wonderful kaputznik, which is a Polish way of saying cabbage soup. Very healthy, got a lot of protein, low carb, a lot of fiber. Oh, who says Polish food can't be healthy? I know there's a lot of starches and there's a lot of carbohydrates and stuff like that in Polish food, but guess what? We've achieved a healthy Polish dish. And you can just make it. I mean, I mean, you don't have to be Polish, you gotta love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it. Get some of the cabbage and get some of the sauerkraut and of course some of the uh, the pork. Mmm. Yeah, perfect. That is so good. Hang on. One more. One more. More pork. Oh, this is so good. Hey, thanks for joining me. Make this. It took me 30 minutes. Put it together. It's so simple to do. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being part of the 50 by 50. It's got 41 more to go. Keep me accountable and let's keep making really good food. We're not gonna sacrifice taste for healthy foods. We're not gonna do that. So this is a tasty one. You're gonna love it. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Be a part of this journey. Be a part of Mike Husky's Kitchen. Love to have you. Thanks again. God bless you. And like I always say, in my own special Polish way, Nostradovia.